Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a Get Ready With Me for Valentine's Day. First thing I'm going to take is my Maybelline Baby Skin, and I'm going to put this all over my face for a primer. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer and I'm going to apply this to my acne spots. I'm like already out of it, so I'm actually super depressed and need to go buy another one. But this is amazing for covering up any type of acne scarring you have. Then I'm going to take my e.l.f. foundation, and this is just a okay foundation, so I wear this just on days I'm filming, so I don't waste my good ones that I really, really love. But I'm just going to dot this all over my face, then I'm going to take my Sigma, pretty sure using my Sigma F80 in here, and I'm just going to start buffing this out. And I cut it off short just because I feel like you guys don't need to see me buff out my foundation for like five minutes of your life. <laughs> Then I'm going to take the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. And if you guys ever see me shaking my head like really hard or talking, it's because I'm singing. I'm like jamming out. But I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids as well because it actually makes a very good eyelid primer. Then I'm going to take my NYC. This is just the Smooth Skin Finishing Powder. This is actually really good. Um, I think I'm going to start project panning this item next because... I don't know, I just think it's actually really good, so I want to use it a little bit more. Then I'm going to take this light brown shade and just fill in my eyebrows with this. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil and I'm just going to define my eyebrows a little bit more. I'm trading between this and the Anastasia Dip Brow. Then I'm going to be using the Kat Von Dean Eyelid Primer and I'm just going to put this on top of my eyelids. Then I'm going to be taking the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to be taking Light Brown. And I'm just going to apply this to the crease as a base for all the shadows and going to give it a transition color. Then I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild um, Single Eyeshadow in Brulee. I use this every single day for under my eyebrows. I feel like it just looks really good under my eyebrows. Then this look we are going for is a very dark, smoky look. I really have never done a look like this, so I'm going out of my comfort zone. But I'm going to be taking the Lorac Pro 2 palette again. I'm going to be taking the black shade out of it, and I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelids. And um, then I'm going to be taking... A little blending brush and kind of fading that out just a little bit so it um, kind of is nicely blended so it's not just a huge dark black blob on my eye. Then I'm going to be taking this Revlon Custom Eyes and I'm going to be taking a burgundy shade. Any type of burgundy shade you have, any type of black you have, definitely use those. Just because I'm using these colors, do not feel like feel free just to use the shades you have so you don't have to go out and buy the same exact ones as me. But I'm just going to be putting this into my crease and this is a very, very dark, dark look. It actually turns out beautiful. Um, I used a picture that I just found on my Instagram page and I just fell in love with it so I kind of tried to recreate that look just a tad bit. But it's a very, very nice, smoky, dark look for Valentine's Day. And I'm like 100% positive this is what I'm going to be wearing on Valentine's Day myself. Then I'm going to take a big blending brush and just blend out the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to reapply that black. Then I'm just going to take um, the blending brush again and start blending out a little bit more. I cut off a lot of the blending just because it's kind of redundant. But then I'm going to take my eyelash curler and recurl my lashes. Then I'm going to be taking the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. And in this look, I will be putting on fake eyelashes, but I'm not going to be doing it on camera because it's super hard. But then I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Nude Eyeliner, and I'm just going to pop that in because I have really tiny eyes, like hooded eyes. So I feel like when I do darker looks, I need that in my waterline. Then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. eyelash kit, and this is the whole overall look. Like, look how beautiful it is. It's actually a lot darker in person, but yeah, it's like you guys know, I'm still trying to work with my lighting, but... 
I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I just, uh, I adore it so much, because I'm definitely going to be wearing this. It's just so dark and, like, sultry. It's absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going to be taking my NYC bronzer, and I'm just going to do a lot of bronzer, contouring, all of that. Then I'm going to take my blush from Jordana in Redwoods, and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. Then I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, and I'm just going to kind of clean it up just a tad bit. I've actually been really liking doing this because sometimes I just go a little overboard, so I feel like I really need to clean it up. Then I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild lipstick in the Flesh. It's actually a very nice, beautiful, kind of like orangey-brown color. And I'm just going to be applying this, and I absolutely love Wet n Wild lipsticks. They're just amazing. So here's the overall look. I hope you guys enjoy it, and here's some modeling. You guys know I suck at doing this, so I'm just going to go. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye!